Welcome to Pharmacam Insights. I am Irfan Sheikh. Today's topic is water contained by Carl Fisher titration. This video will help you to prepare most common interview question and answers. So let's get started. First question is what is Carl Fisher titration? Carl Fisher titration is a method that uses volumetric or coulometric titration to determine the quantity of water in a given analyte or sample. This method for quantitative chemical analysis was developed by the German chemist Carl Fischer in the year 1935. What is the general chapter for Carl Fischer as per USP? The general chapter is 9 to 1 water determination. What is the principle of Carl Fischer titration? The principle of Carl Fischer titration is based on the redox reaction between iodine and sulfur dioxide. Water reacts with iodine and sulfur dioxide to form sulfur trioxide and hydrogen iodide. An endpoint is reached when all the water is consumed. Chemical equation of the same. I2 plus SO2 plus S2O gives 2HI plus SO3. AF titration is which type of titration? So answer is it is a redox titration, a combination of oxidation and reduction reaction. What are the contents of KF reagent? The contents of KF reagent are sulfur dioxide, iodine, imidazole or pyridine and methanol. Previously, we used pyridine as a base to prepare KF reagent. Afterwards, it is found that pyridine is carcinogenic, it is toxic and also it is harmful to human reproductive system. So, pyridine is replaced by imidazole as a base. What is drift in KF analysis? Drift is background moisture that detects by KF titrator. The moisture present in the titration vessel is called background moisture. Which electrode is used for KF titration? A double platinum electrode is used for KF titration. Which calibration standard is used for KF titration? Disodium tartrate dihydrate DST is used for calibration of KF titration. Its molecular formula is C4H4Na2O6 into 2S2O water molecules. Why we use sodium tartrate DST for calibration? It is stable and non hygroscopic. It is a primary standard. It has a 15.66% stoichiometric water content. How do you calculate the Carl Fischer factor? The water equivalence factor F is determined according to the formula 0.1566 into W divided by V, where W is the weight of disodium tartrate in milligrams and V is the reagent volume in ml. Next question. What is the use of methanol in Carl Fischer titration? Methanol is used as solvent in Carl Fischer titration. Why methanol is used as a solvent in Carl Fischer titration? Actually you can use any suitable alcohol but methanol is readily available, it is easy to dry and it is inexpensive. Which solvent is used for determination of water content of acetone and why? Dimethylformamide DMF is used in place of methanol for determination of water content of acetone because methanol reacts with acetone to form ketone that produces additional water and give you false reading. What is the difference between KF and LOD? Carl Fischer titration is a method 
that measures only water content present in the sample. On the other hand, the LOD method measures both water and volatile impurities present in the sample. What are the advantages of using Carl Fisher titration for water content? It is a fast technique. It requires a minimum amount of a sample. It helps in detecting free water, dissolved water, and also emulsified water. It is extremely an accurate method. How many ways we can perform KF titration? We can perform KF titration in two ways volumetric determination and coulometric determination. What is the difference between volumetric determination and coulometric determination? In volumetric determination, the end point is detected potentiometrically. In coulometric determination, the end point is detected electrochemically. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe my videos so I get motivated to create more videos of this kind.